Yeah, better better options out of it as well. I mean, yeah, dash dance down tilt is so good. Um, yeah, that down tilt. Is, is it intangible? I don't, I don't know if it's intangible, but I know in terms of its tripping properties, if you act fast enough, and I believe at certain percent windows, I don't know it off the top of my head. Um, down tilt into grab isn't actually true. You can either get up or try to do a get up attack or something in or time. Jab, but awesome I think right. down tilt dash attack is true. Like yeah. if you do the instant well, you, dash attack. Right, with, especially without even without a trip. Yeah. Yeah. That would make sense. Please tell me they fix it. Wait. Yeah, they should. Please say, yeah, are you on the left? Yeah, are you on the left? All right, thank you. you Makes my job so much easier. Oh, we are gonna see the Danky. I love okay, it. Yeah. Two characters that just got buffed recently. Yeah, as I say, this will be super interesting. I, like, for the matches Missing Known has played, that fair really hasn't come into play yet. Yeah. But uh. But yeah, this. Well, is the Lariat did though. The Lariat got a buff. So yep, and this is gonna be the start of the UWM versus MSW crew battle. And you see. Are you just is so good when it comes down to this dash dance game, and here comes a Barry with the headbutt, gets him with the forward air out of it. Dash, yeah. I will say, I feel like uh, Missing Nose definitely didn't get boxed out by the DK's bigger looms. Mm -hmm. But this possibly. is where this is where Incendiary gets it. He gets a triple up air. Oh no, good DI from Aryu. He's not going to be able to get the triple. Yeah. All right, nice three. He's got him off stage. And he's got to be scared with that because Cross Chop can definitely spike and kill off stage. Oh yeah, yeah. You just you just gotta respect Cross Chop. It's uh. Oh, but the time to send him towards stage. He got lucky. Yeah. Uh oh. Down there gets a spike. That's a lot of fairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, I like the charge, the charge? stalling his aerial momentum. Yeah, DK's back here really strong. It's Crazy his best move in my mind. This is like one cross oh, chop. Uh, this is one Alolan whoop good. away from from stealing out of stock. And then the Nair. Uh, I think that was a uh, Lariat. Oh, oh but he clips him with a Conk Cyclone. Back throw? Up throw, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think the back. Okay, the Lariat. Yeah, Lariat's gonna. Push more stage. Now, fourth throw. Fourth throw. Yeah, kill, that's yeah. gonna kill. This has got some really strong throws. Um, no, this is literally just one side beat. One grab. He's dead. He's dead. Back throw. Yeah, gone. No, oh, no, nice we should have. Yeah, it was good DI for one. He should have just grabbed and did the uh, cargo off, or yeah, he could have jumped damage. on, or he could have jumped oh, on, yeah, he's dead. or he could have jumped on center platform and done. Uh, sorry, I, I love DK in this game. Like he could have jumped on the top <laughs> platform and done the uh, cargo throw off the top. Uh, up, yeah, up to the yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of options. It's, it's comes cargo down throw to. back throw, right? Uh, yes, cargo uh, jump back throw. Yeah, and that does have better uh, better armor on startup. And yep, there it's gonna be go. a couple of bears. Get the juggle. Oh, yeah. if you would have doubled... Got a, the Nair is good for coming down. Yeah, at that percent, though, he could have double jumped and won, would have won with the up air, and based on Incineroar's weight, he could have just gotten a guaranteed double up air. So just a small optimization. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, he gets him no stage spike! We did or not take those. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's part of the matchup, though, man. I mean... Mm -hmm. Gotta gotta be able to take that. Yeah, he doesn't get the cargo, but he does bait out the revenge. Doesn't get the punish off of it. Right. Yeah, it seems like Missing Known has really done best when he's keeping him at disadvantage. Yeah, and you see, are you going for a lot of these neutral get-ups, too? I'm wondering if uh, Missing Known's going to go for some Lariats on, on uh, ledge get-ups now. He has done that almost every time. It is a really safe option, too, because I think he can catch roll as well. It, I think pretty yeah. Oh, oh, and he dunks him! Are you going to seal it out? Oh, and two, Missing Known only takes two stock. Or, only takes one really stock. stock yeah. yeah, good call out there. Yeah, DK's fair is just terrifying. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, even if it doesn't spike you, it so, has such a strong forward hit. It's insane. Yeah. And here comes S. Uh, Joker. So Joker, I believe, is one of DK's worst matchups. If not, Palu and Snake are higher than that. Yeah, this should be rough. This Especially should be extremely air, rough. Side B can hit him so easily. Like you can, like let's face it, you can rack up percent extremely, extremely fast with DK. Yeah. But Joker, especially with Rebels Guard, like if you're ever just like a small inch off, especially on the optimization, like yeah, uh, you're he, frame, you gotta be frame tight. Yes. Otherwise, he's just gonna, just gonna Rebels Guard out of it. Exactly. And even then, Joker's frame dead is so good at getting, uh, getting him out of bad situations. Mm-hmm. And obviously, our son just. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. He's gonna Dude, if you if you ever push DK far enough off where he has to commit to the cyclone to recover, or um, or every or he just too low, just spike him or run off counter. Yeah. Well, both both right, are just free kills. Yeah. yeah. Like this is just gonna be. Uh, we'll we'll see we'll see how S uh, adapts to the dash dance game. I but mean, Ru has two stocks, so it's not like he still has it. You got SD, Ru. <laughs> 
He's doing all this movement stuff, moving left and right. Yeah, he's just hand warmer. He's in. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so I mean, as a DK, what would you do here? You just gotta try and play super patient, take your chances to get it. Literally just grab him. Grab him and don't overextend on your up air combos. That's all you can really do against just, Joker. Just don't overextend it. Oh, he gets no! He's dead! No, he's dead! No, he's definitely dead. Oh, God. Oh. I would do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. <laughs> just go for the shield breaker when you have it. Like, um, on certain platforms too, it's it's a very situational thing. But if you um, if you place a back air right, you can do back air into headbutt as a uh, basically destroy full shield. Oh. So you can, you have some uh, really good setups, but like the platform layout here on uh, Town City is not very not good fair. for DK when you want to get um, when you want to get uh, basically quick shield break setups. He got one, which is fine. But right, I mean, like yeah, it's. I mean, and into the perfect timing too. Mm -hmm. But here we're starting to see, like you're saying, uh, having a hard time getting in. Joker keeping him in the air. Yeah, he's not gonna really have a good, a lot of good kill opportunities when, uh, when he's our sunless, especially against DK, because DK, I believe, is top four heaviest in the game. I'm yeah, pretty sure he's tied with DDD for being third. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But the only thing that's not gonna kill. No. I was <laughs> like maybe back throw or back air on ledge. Yeah. You got it. Dash attack isn't gonna kill either. No, you you definitely got it. You definitely have to pressure him when he comes back to ledge like that. Like he can't, you can't let DK get. Him. Okay, so he gets, okay. so he got. Uh, he he got a little greedy with the second back air. Yeah, he took the back air and then he just went for the S smash. Okay, Arsen just in the nick of time. Yeah, this is where he can cheese out stocks super early though. He gets him up to around right. the Joker gets up to him, gets up to around like this percent. He spikes him, he counters him off stage. He's dead. Yeah, only but. Are you recognizes that though, which is the good part. He knows. All right, I just gotta respect this Arsen. Yeah. Just wait it out. Maybe get some chances to get a grab. Oh, that was true. He messed that up. Uh-oh. Like, at this... Arsene almost gone. He's got a... Oh, yeah. He doesn't have Arsene, but otherwise he could just ran off countered. I was going to say, I think that would have been worthwhile just trying to go for it there. Oh, yeah, and he's too, too low. All right, well... He does get the stock sick, off, though. He uh, that was a sick first stock. That yeah. That was insane. Just... <laughs> that is literally like one grab. Boom. Side beat. Yeah, he's are you in positive in stock? So that's all he really needs to do. He puts him in a good position, and then he and he solidifies counter pick for MSOE. Uh, not MSOE, sorry, for UWM. Yeah, yeah. I really don't know what a counter pick to Joker would be, though. <laughs> Joker? Palutena, like. <laughs> yeah, they like Joker, Palutena, other another top tier. Actually. I don't think Wolf Wolf would not be good actually. Actually, I think you send out DJ now, because Pikachu does pretty good against Joker. Joker isn't the best against small characters. Uh, S is MSOE. I'm dumb. <laughs> You're <laughs> no, right. You, you, have, you, have, you, got, you got Dream as Kirby. You got... Uh, no, Dream's playing uh, Hero. Hero. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Hero. And then uh, Pumpkin Pie playing a heavy. I, I just... Maybe, maybe like the only heavy that has a decent matchup is Bowser. Who, sir? Against Joker. Sorry, I didn't hear what you decent said. Decent heavy. Like, which heavy has a decent matchup? Like oh, oh, yeah. Only Bowser. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I can't really think... Like, DDD would be good... Oh, they're sending in, uh... Who's this tag? You know how that is? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah. Hey, what's your tag? What? Hey, sorry, I can't hear you. Math. Math. Oh, math. Okay. Yeah. We have? We have math. If not, we'll just add him. Was it math or math? Math, I think. Like... Like M-A-T-H. This is okay. Yeah. Alright. This tag's math? That's interesting. Alright. The subject, yeah. Like the math. All right. All right. So we have math. I have no idea who he plays. Yeah, neither do I. This, like <laughs> I said, I guess one of the only people, well, one of the people I don't recognize from last year, maybe a freshman. It could be. Uh, oh, <laughs> he went beach. double DK. <laughs> hey, this, we were talking like only top tiers have good matches against Joker. Here you go. This is a good matchup against yeah. Joker. Yeah, Peach will definitely dish out the damage and just exert stage control with those turnips. Yeah. Alright, here comes Countdown. Oh, we got Dot Eyes immediately. Second best, uh, no. second best Stitch. Or turnip. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, here comes the damage. Only beaten by Stitch Face. He's already got our Sen. Oh no. Uh, gotta stop buttons, man. Yep. Yeah, S, S seems to like rolling behind his opponent. Yeah, he just keeps pressing buttons. Okay. Nice. Okay, that was a nice read. Yeah, it gets him with the double, another up air. Nope. He could have traded with the down air. I think it would have worked out in his favor. Yeah. 
Okay, they are sent keeping uh, SP. And Peach Bomber is going to get him all the way up there. Oh, going for a really hard read there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, S does not have to play this super aggressively. It's Peach. Peach oh, no. is going to blow you up if you try to go in. Oh, He's nice not DI. dead. Yeah. DI is out for corner. The okay, good. Oh, he's not. A uh, little overcommit there with the side B. Um, back throw, yeah. S keeps getting people with these rollback uh, back throws. I'm wondering if yeah. there's going to be anybody who's going to start contesting it. Wow, there, all right. Yeah, I mean, if they just spot dodge it, that's a... Right in the ledge there would be pretty free. Mm -hmm. He's going for a lot of these S matches. He's getting greedy. Yeah, he's really trying to seal the stock. Peach Bomber is going to send him off stage. You, he missed the punish. Yeah. yeah. Fourth throw off stage. Gun down? No. Uh oh. Oh, get some of the down tilt. Oh no. Oh, Nair pushed him off stage a little bit more. Alright, alright, good covering. Good yeah. covers are covered with the side beat. Oh, that's. Back. Up oh. throw? No. All right, all I was about to get down throw. <laughs> Just double back here. Well, I don't know why he's backing off this much against Peach. There you go. I was like, come on. He's yeah, he's one of those is going to have to hit. <laughs> back up. You got it. Just, why isn't he just sharking back here at this point? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh no. Max Rage Peach Flair is going to kill. Oh, wow. Mathis two stocks him. Dang. Yeah, he went yeah, for a lot rough. of rollbacks. I, I just I just think he just should have shark backers. Like yeah, you see you see said, yeah. you seen you seen Fox too. Like that's actually a really good thing that Mario does. Like a, like if, especially when somebody's off stage. Like you've seen Dan uh, the Chicago Mario. He just keeps doing like backers just because like even if they roll on you can react to get up. If they jump you catch him. Right. It's it's not a it doesn't guarantee a hit, but at the same time, it's, it's a pretty. Than... It, it, I would have liked to see different uh, ledge options because he was backing yeah. off completely, letting Peach get back. It, yeah, you can tell he's he, a little. He's more. trying to pressure with the side beat, but he kept missing. Is you gotta. And it's, honestly, it's more important that your presence is on that ledge. To yeah. Threaten. Because he's, if you do miss a side B, then you just get up and it's fine. Yeah, he was playing a little more scared. Like, if he just start back, it was like, it would have still been safe enough for he could back off and Peach couldn't be game especially to punish. Especially with Arsene. Yeah, especially it's with Arsene. So, it's too threatening. Even this? though at that percent, it wouldn't have mattered. He would have killed it anyway. Oh, oops. It's not update? It should update. Oh, oh that's why I put Audi versus S. That math. makes sense. This was math. Oh, not missing known. You already played. Map and Audi. Okay. All right, should be all set. Uh. Yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, did, I, yeah. You're right. S didn't take a stock. Dang. Mhm. Mm this should be interesting. I don't. Yeah, I'll say I don't know how good sorties are against Daisy Peach, because if they get in, it's kind of rough. And then the, the turnips can also just oppress sorties too. Yeah, but yeah, that's what Audi's got a shark for. He's got a shark for up tilts or falling up there. Yeah, because that's how he's gonna get his. Con that's how he's gonna uh, get him a disadvantage and stay there. Yeah, and especially with especially with Peach, like down air is is not is gonna lose to up tilt and up air. Oh, so yeah. I mean, he's gotta at least find those. He doesn't even need the tipper of up tilt. Just just up tilt. He's gotta get. Oh, he's got him on top platform. Shark him. Oh no. Go. Oh, okay, that's nice. Put some that's oh! Oh! The tip! Jeez, that was a little premature on the up beat, but good call. By yeah, all. that was a good call out. All right, I right. like the falling up air. Shows that upset doesn't hit uh, Smashville. Hit on Smashville planet. And I like that option because that could have sealed out of stock super early. It could have. Uh, yeah, and he didn't get punished that bad. Yeah. The way the math was positioned, that's why I liked it. Burns his air right, dodge. Alright, he got under the turnips. Good. Yeah. Nice, go above it. Double fair. Oh, and he gets another tipper! tipper. Wait oh a second, is gosh. this a full reversal? What is going on here? This is, uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay. It put, sets him off stage. There's um, the turn. Oh, 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 but he goes dash high. Tech? Dash tag no. isn't going to kill. Uh oh. Oh, you got the two turns out. That oh, was no. dangerous. He was contesting oh. the fair. I thought he was going for the up smash. That was so. No way. That one was too committal. Okay. That one was too committal. I thought that was the tipper. I was gonna. Honestly, honestly, oh. the way that Audi was playing, though, he he really had the momentum. I'm okay with going for going those reads, for it, yeah. especially because if that if if Math would have just air, like air dodge into it and panic option, like Audi would Audi would have had it. Yeah. I I, I mean, like the option. Even there, the it's it's still viable that it would hit because it goes over his head. Yeah, I like the option. I really do. Like he, he did he did get killed for it, but I like the option. Right. I mean, I mean, right. He had the momentum. He was good stage position too. Yeah, just literally just F tilt. Nah, you yeah, you exactly. don't lose anything by going yeah. for F tilt. 
Yeah, that's super safe on Mark. Wow. Oh, Adi did lose his stock. Oh, Adi did lose his stock, so. Still down by one stock, and they don't have counter pick. But what a comeback, though. That, that was what they needed, but that, they, st they still have Dream, though. So. That could have been bad, though, right? Yeah, they still have Dream. That's, wh that's what worries me, because if right, they pull okay. out Dream, that's, uh... Well, the hero, if you go in Hero, I'm kind of, I'm honestly kind of curious to see what stuff Dream has for Hero. I'm, I'm interested to see as well, but I don't know if they're going to pull him out. They, honestly, yeah, pull Pumpkin Pie. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Pumpkin Pie. Well, okay, I don't, Audi does pretty well against our local Bowsers. Like Loxus Ellis or... Uh, I think Tamer, Pumpkin's so. better than Loxo, though. Just my personal oh, opinion. Oh, no, definitely. Yeah. I, no, Pumpkin Pie's definitely better. It's just... Audi's definitely experienced in the matchup, and he knows... Yeah. Just to, you know, res to respect the heck out of heavies. Yes, yes. Especially with Marth, because he can just... Yeah, and yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to mean, that, don't want to mean that to be like a bag on, uh, on Loxo's gonna mean, but it was like last tournament and how far Pumpkin got. That, that's well, the reason I, yeah, I think I that. De yeah, Pumpkin, I definitely know Pumpkin's better. It's just yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just attesting Audi knowing the matchup. Yeah. But obviously, Pumpkin Pie can still bring it back, <laughs> especially Audi being one side down too. We're missing something, and then we knew it was the jokes. The puns, the trash talk. So is this, is this Marquettes or? No, that's uh, streams. This who? That's oh, streams. Yeah, yeah. That makes, okay, that makes sense. Playing Kirby. That's how you can tell if dreams at a tournament. You see the Kirby hanging. Yeah, <laughs> you see the Kirby on stream. That's actually how I knew he's at Second City Smash. I was just like, I was looking around. I saw a pool, and I just saw a dude holding the Kirby. I was like, that's stream. <laughs> oh, he's gonna go Bowser. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it was K. Rule, I think it might turn out very differently. <laughs> In favor of him, or, or what's that? up? Like in favor of Dream, or in favor of Audi in that case, because K. Rule like is still just cheeks. <laughs> really? I th yeah, K. Rule got buffed. Doesn't mean he's good. <laughs> okay, I'm not saying he's good, but I don't yeah. I don't know if it'd have been that different. Because I, I just I but just I, think, but I think Bowser Pie wins this. I think Martha wins against K. Rule. That's what I think. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. Fair, I was like, cause I definitely think Pumpkin Pie just is just he can just use the heavies. Yeah. All right, uh, I do yeah, like the flying yeah, up here. Out. Yeah, Whirling Fortress is gonna get, get him out of the situation. Nair's gonna force say, a knockdown. The one thing I was gonna say, I'd like to see the, uh, Audi go for like Dancing Blade up close, because Bowser's a lot of a lot of good options, really up close. And Dancing Blade's like the only thing for Marth. Dancing Blade, it can also kind of serve as an overcorrection though, punishing spot dodges, so it is very punishable. Right. Well, plus he can slow it down too. So yeah. He doesn't necessarily have to commit to it. I did like the choice for up smash. Rob would have gotten the tip of Fox. Ooh, nice. doesn't get the beer versus Fire Breath. Oh, oh that he lands on stage. That was dangerous. Very bad. All right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just don't be afraid to retreat to ledge. You're in disadvantage. Ledge is your friend. Oh, he's gonna go for shield breaker. Oh, never mind. Oh, it was the. I, I, I saw the. I saw the small shield. It's like, oh, I think he wants it. Yeah, because he doesn't even get fully charged. Oh, and he tries to just go for the. Oh, uh, smash. That's that is not good. It's free 17 percent there. Nice oh, dancing wow, blade. He's gonna be able to get him underneath the stage. All right, Audi definitely gonna start looking for F tilt here. Here we go, just dash around. Yeah, he's, he's gonna start looking for an air back here back though. Air not not safe on shield. See, oh, uh, we're definitely gonna see a side V here in a second though. Oh yeah, flying slam. Here go. it is. Dead. Not dead. If you oh, got on top right, platform, bounce, maybe. Bounce, yeah. yeah. Did he wave from bounce though? Potentially. I oh, goes for the angle down shield breaker. I like that. Up tilt. No, it goes for back air. Back air has. A for some reason, back here is like is pretty consistent when you get uh when you get a tipper. Oh, Way more that, than forty. Yeah, so far out. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, that was dead. Oh yeah, we we'll definitely need the tipper here because otherwise this is gonna be rough. Yeah. He can't get impatient is the problem. Yeah. Oh, Nair is gonna be a little outspaced. Yeah, really waiting for him to run in. He could have punched a dash tag with a F tilt or something. No. Man, good job on, on uh, Pumpkin Pie, just knowing he's in the lead and he can really just run away with this. Oh, and he gets a lot of damage uh, with the Flame Breath. This is yeah, dangerous with Bowser. He's got like 25, 23 on each of those. Uh, Dude, like he's defense. in kill percent. This is really it, bad. He honestly is. He should be dead. Yeah, yeah back air. He's at, he's at the perfect percent. 6'9". Six, 6'9". Nine. Six, nine. <laughs> yeah. I always have to point that out. Alright, nice. You play better. You play more confident when you're at the percent. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh yeah, Eptil right. is not going to push him far enough away. Yeah, that's super low percent too. He's going to do a lot oh, of shield pressure. I like Audi, knowing that he couldn't drop through platform to get a punish, so he just backs off. 
Yeah, you uh, clipped him through the stage. Yeah, it's not killing him yet. Almost. Yeah, Pumpkin Pie, I like the way he's left trapping right now. Oh, the up tilt <laughs> didn't hit behind him. <laughs> he does get the pushback from the Dancing Blade they oh, needed to recover safely. There. He's not dead. Oh, no, he should, yeah. Say that. <laughs> I think he was fighting the back throw, so he died. Uh, he died uh, badly. That's yeah, my guess. Yeah, the threat with Bowser that both his forward throw and back throw can kill. Well, Audi definitely brought him back into it. So <laughs> that is true. It could, that is true. It's not over. Audi, Unless yeah, Audi literally did bring it back in a lot of situations. I think now is when you send in DJ. <laughs> Save him for dream. Oh well, yeah, Probably. that makes sense. But I'm just saying against ba Bowser to eliminate those stocks. Like Pikachu just destroys Bowser. That's a good point. Right, free. And that's not as free, but you're right. It would be an easier matchup. Well, I'm wondering who else do you have left? I you have Panquake locks, and you have Locks. Panquake Locks. And I don't like the Bowser Ditto. Panquake, no, yeah. Bowser Ditto definitely bad. Panquake makes sense. Panquake is pretty good against Bowser, but I still think DJ would be better. Yeah. Against Bowser, at least, he definitely be better. I like it automatically. I know it's alphabetical, but I like how it defaults to Bayo for the player's life. This ain't Smash 4. Are we going to see Panquake? I'm literally I'm anticipating Panquake. That's why I already changed his tag on there. <laughs> Put the money down. I think the best I think the best move is Panquake now that I, mean, I think Panquake, about it. He has some pretty good sets over locks here. So. Mm -hmm. The issue, though, is that Bowser can live to, like, 200. Bayonetta can't kill. Bayonetta can't kill. Yeah, that's it's... that's the worry. I think it's, if you uh... want, I think if you want to seal out the the last couple stocks, you put in DJ. But I think DJ baits out Dream. Right. Exactly. And, and then you're gonna. I don't know how Panquake or Lax will deal with Dream. Yeah. But he is hero. The Kirby would be definitely harder. But yeah. They're not gonna put Lox in though. Lox is not very good at the Bowser Ditto. Yeah. A lot so... of discussion going on though. Put in Bunny Warlord. Put in the DJ. Uh, DDD. <laughs> Put in the DDD. Yeah. I faced Bunny Warlord at uh, the, one of the most recent constructs. I made him hit Palutena. You what? <laughs> I made him hit Palutena even more. Oh. <laughs> well, because Palutena just destroys DDD. Yeah, it's that's not even cool. close. Heavies. I mean, like. Like. It, wait, wait. It, does does Nair reflect Gordo? Like, yes. Oh, uh, Okay. No, the best. Yeah, is, the best is just to throw out auto reticle. Auto reticle, just like when you're trying to set up a Gordo, just being thrown, it just shoots it right back. DDD can't react fast enough. Oh. That and then explosive flame. That's just, oh, they are going for the Bowser Ditto. All right. So this is an interesting choice. This is definitely an interesting choice. My prediction: one of them's going to get blown up. I don't know which one yet. I don't know. Maybe Locks has some newly found confidence in uh, in his Bowser Ditto. I don't know. We'll see. Both of them out of the player camps. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the player camps are off. Should we tell them? Should probably tell them. Yeah. Hang on. Hey guys, the player camps are a little off, just as a heads up. Scoot. Yeah, scoot to the right, Locks. No more. I'm sorry, to your left, Locks, my bad. Uh, he's still off screen. A little to your left, Locks. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. So, oh my gosh, the shirts are matching for the colors. Re we planned this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so one of them's going to get exploded. I don't know which one yet. And it literally can be, be can be dependent on like one flying slam. Yeah. Especially on Town of City. Yeah. Lox well, likes this counter pick, I think, just because of how quick you can see all stocks with flying slam on the side. But it's it's tough. Oh, he is going to get the clip with the down air. Forward yeah, there. That Punishing downer is its own. It's flame it's breath own. trying to counter flame breath. <laughs> it's just not. I don't know why they do that. Wow, up throw to up throw. Oh, oh no. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Stretcher. Oh, he gets the stretcher. Oh, he gets the oh. What? Oh, that's what he gets for not going. He this is the no. deal. This is the dumbest what matchup I've seen. What is going on? This is so stupid. What? Okay. Oh, and he gets God. a flame breath punish. What is going on? Uh oh. At least There's it's not Alamar. Yeah. There's a fair. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, it's just a literally a dash dance battle. Flying Slam is oh, not going to no, kill you. He got the platform, maybe, but. Platform would have made it a lot closer. He literally counters Rolling Fortress with Rolling Fortress. <laughs> Why? Why? Get a little impatient there. Oh, they trade? 
Oh, I think he waited he for a roll. Oh. He rolled away when he had a free punish. What is going on? Oh, yeah, he's he getting just, way too many down airs. Oh, that's... No, that's still good. Yeah. But yeah, but the pumpkin pie is punching it. Drop zone fair is going to oh. take the first stock. How is that the first stock? I've got a shield breaker on a taxi platform. Yeah, honestly. It's dumb. <laughs> he, he left it to the stretcher, but Locke's not giving up. Mashing out. Oh, stop, <laughs> <laughs> One of them just screams, stop oh, going for that. <laughs> oh, bad DI. Bad DI. This SDI. Yeah, Locke's has got to stop going down for these down airs. That's a 40%. Oh, no. That's 40%. Oh, 50%. 50%. Jeez. Yeah, the Bowser did those insane. Oh, oh, he went for the down, down smash. smash. That might have killed him, especially for the tipper. I think he was too close. For the claw hit, yeah. Uh oh. It's up air? No, he went for a oh. back, back air, not up air. All right. Oh, he grabs him out wow. of the startup of an F smash. <laughs> Safe option. Rolling nice. fortress, Rolling yeah. Fortress, right. Get a little antsy. He was a little off space. I don't know, I don't know what that one was. He, I, I, he definitely wanted to gra grab ledge afterwards. Uh oh, uh oh. Back air puts him in a nice guard situation. Pumpkin pie's left trap. Oh! He is so good. F tilt's gonna or kill. Tilt. Oh, oh, and Lox gets a shield break back. What? What? Are you kidding me? Dash attack, F smash it. What, do you mean? <laughs> what is this? This is the worst Bowser you've ever seen. What's going on? <laughs> that should have been a kill. Yeah, like, we get two shield breaks, nothing comes out of either. Alright, back air. Alright, so. Cross stage. So, Loxo still seals out the Bowser Ditto. Alright, wow. Not very convincingly, but he does it. No, he still he still gets it, but. At what cost? Yeah, that. At what cost, honestly? That should not have been as close as it was. I don't know what this guy's tag is. Jeez. Gamer? Gamer. Alright, alright, cool. Gamer. Okay. What a. What a great tag. Very original, too. Other one. Other one. Other one. Oh, you're right. God, I keep doing that. <laughs> well, they're swapped on the... Yeah. Locks to your left. Move to your left. Stop going off c camera. I'm too excited. At least, like, I went for dash attack. I went for dash attack. That's not the right option. F smash. What do you mean? He went for F tilt and for jab. It's like, come on. You got his... Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 there you go. Uh, oh, Yoshi's story. Yeah, you're good. That's ridiculous. Sorry, that's just ridiculous. Oh, oh man. Hmm. Okay, so we got Gamer going Ridley. Um, okay, I actually really like this. Um, Ridley, 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 okay, so. People sleep on Ridley. I actually seriously believe people sleep on Ridley. Okay, that's not, fair. not like not like against high tiers. Against high tiers, we're not talking about this. That's but fair. in a heavy v heavy matchup, I like Ridley, especially because first of all, fair strings are really good. Quick read with the skewer. F tilt's a great spacing tool that beats out Bowser's F tilt in terms of space. Like, I like this matchup. The only thing, the only questionable thing for Ridley is his weight. Yeah. He's just gonna die way earlier than Bowser. He'll die earlier, but I mean, like, oh, I'm not seeing any F tilts out of Gamer. You need F tilt a lot in this matchup. He's going for a lot well, of down tilt. He's opting instead. for down tilt instead, which makes sense at these low percents, but. It makes sense. I I still think F tilt's a better option in terms uh -oh. of just spacing uh -oh. a lot more. Rolling Forge is gonna add on a lot of percent. Flying Slam should not kill, oh. yeah. I thought he tried to go for top platform. I think he would have made top platform would have killed. Definitely. On, on Yoshi's? Uh -oh. He's still gonna grab ledge, yeah. yeah. Nice. Back air. Here no, we go. we're going for forward airs. <gasps> oh, oh no. no! That up tilt. Yeah, put him. Up tilt. Okay, so the, okay, so it's it's a uh, it's the wings on up tilt and up air. They are they are intangible. But I was like up smash. Yeah, he caught him at the tail end of it. Right. That's all muscle mass. Okay. F tilt. F tilt. F tilt. F tilt. F tilt. Why isn't he up tilting? Uh, he's just. Like, All right, there it is. There you go. There, there you go. he is. <laughs> Oh, I'll smash. Oh, catch. yeah, no. Okay, back throw. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, up tilt, yep. Um, yeah, Nair's gonna push him go. off stage. It's at the point where Space Pirate nice. Rush can kill. Yes, the up tilts. Oh. Just goes for forward air. I think a Nair might seal this out at the ledge. Back air will kill. Back air got buffed in, uh, not oh, this yeah. most recent patch, but a patch before that. Pa back air, back air would have killed like 30% earlier. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. 
There yeah, back here's gonna go. kill. Waxo still got the stock. Yeah, he still got one stock. Yeah, we're not. It's two stocks down. Could could be worse. <laughs> I think Waxo still took three stocks, so he did he did his job. Um, this. We got Panquake and Rid. Yeah, this, I'm... Is, this is good. Yes. This will be good. Ridley's a big body. He's easier to kill. This is the best situation for a Bayonetta against like a heavy, heavy character. Quotes. I agree. I agree with that. But yeah, Ridley can. Actually, I don't know if like Nera is a, is it more of a detriment or an asset. I because Bayonetta's her special moves have such big hitboxes. It's no, they do. They do. You're right. That You're right. Like... My my worry is that again, Bay like Bayonetta has to take a lot more risk options. Um, up tilt's intangible. Oh, up, yeah. up airs, like up airs, based correctly, intangible. If gamer plays this right, Bayo is gonna only take trades going in. Oh yeah. I mean this is, I mean this is playing like perfectly, perfectly optimally. And yeah, I don't think, and I don't think it's gonna happen. But I'm saying, but I'm saying up tilt is gonna scoop out a lot of things that Bayo's gonna try to do to approach. Yes. Honestly, if Ridley stays grounded, I don't know what. Bayo I don't know what Bayo's going to be able to Bayo, do. Well, if they go to a stage like Yoshi's Story or Lilat, then she can kind of shark uh, yeah. with the the, you know, the angles on the yes. stage. But otherwise, I don't know. Ridley probably is tall enough for just you know short hop side B. Yeah. Oh, uh, hang on. We got a quick question. Uh, the, what are the Definitely the way you got to right, play grounded, you have bait to play out grounded. the side Bs, but you got to respect shield. Because as soon as you hit bait in shield, just up B. Immediately, yeah. and that's a free combo. Yeah. So they're asking, what are the teams? They're asking, blue is MSOE. Yeah, blue is MSOE. Uh, red is UWM. So yeah, but no, I'm like, it, it, in this in this matchup, like, gamer has to play ground. If he doesn't play grounded, if like if he tries to, I I worry because I worry because oh hey Kev, I I worry because like if he tries to shark out or try to challenge it with Nair, he he's gonna get blown up. Get blown that's up, that's exactly. my worry. But he just can't keep short hopping. Like, no, he can't. You can mix it up in short hop and go for stuff sometimes, but playing grounded and baiting out the side Bs, that's the way to go. Yes. Yeah. And also, if you start playing grounded, be aware that, uh, like, Bayonetta side B, super punishable. You just gotta know it's coming. Yeah. It, it, it's pretty, you know, where the distance Bayonetta's gonna throw it out at, it's pretty... Uh, but in terms of the situation that MSOE is in right now, this is not the worst situation. Like, yes, you are down two stocks in the crew battle. Bayo does not have the best killing power, but Ridley does... Ridley can get blown up. <laughs> oh yeah. But that, like that's that's just, just like the main thing. Ridley is technically, <laughs> I keep saying this because it boggles my mind. Ridley's lighter than Samus. Yeah. That by is one weight point. Samus is, I mean, the armor though, dude. I mean. Yeah. Heavy. Ridley's like a baby, right? Like he's not like fully mature, or is he? I have no idea. I, just, I don't know anything about Metroid lore. Okay, I'll say like, is he just a baby space dragon? Maybe when he gets older. Like, and this is where it gets scary. Yeah, good right. job from Gamer going out. Gotta gotta shield the down air fully, and mm -hmm. then you can just punish it hard. It's just like Bowser down air. You gotta shield the whole thing, both hits, and then punish it. Yeah. Those oh, were the see other how two. Big that hitbox was? It oh is a big hitbox. Gamer is just like struggling to get in, and he gets so much damage off of the bullets too. And this is what I was worried about. You. In this matchup, it's not a good idea to tr to go for the trades, especially with uh, with neutral air. Yes, okay, neutral air is one of Ridley's best options, but just beat him on the ground. Uh oh, he's still alive. Uh -oh. oh, he's not. Oh, he's this is where oh. Panquake is going to excel. Like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! You can't die those. Uh -oh. You can't die those. Oh in. my god! Yeah, he's living, but barely. That's free if you oh di in my gosh. with Ridley. I mean, a di in against Ridley on the on the down throw. Oh. That was really scary. Gets the ABK. ABK just goes for the upper afterwards. Uh oh. Tank we kind of overextending. Not getting punished for it though. Uses a forward air. I like that if he would have gotten the tech roll in. Yeah. And otherwise he just keeps center stage. Oh and Gamer just taking so much damage from these bullets. Jeez. <gasps> oh, he gets the witch bad. time on the forward yeah, yeah. smash. Oh All right, God. Panquake coming in clutch. Wow. For you, MSOE. Yeah, keeping it close. He literally pulled it back even. Yes, they got counter pick, but still. All right. Well, I don't know who UWM is setting in now. It's That's a good green. question. Yeah. Uh, PT maybe. That was a great wish time punish. Great yeah, wish time was... punish. <laughs> he knew it was coming. Yeah. Hey, Dream. Dream. Tag. And I am cool. What's it? N I N. N I N. 
Sweet. Alright. And this time I'm gonna put it for the right side. <laughs> hey! No idea who he plays. Nope. No idea whatsoever. I mean... It was probably like one of the first time I've ever seen like a, wi like a witch time punish. Cause it was so prevalent in the game before it, now it's like... Yeah. Some, I mean, some context clues. He's wearing a, a, a Pokemon hat. Maybe he's PT. I could see PT against this. Hang on. Hey, Panquake, can you get on screen better? Go to your left. Yeah, thank you. I want to see your beautiful face when you three-stock this man. <laughs> oh, gosh. It, it really depends who he plays. Honestly, I can play super safe in any matchup, but... Honestly, Panquake, it. Panquake takes uh, stock advantage here, and then they were send out Dream. You guys are in a good position. Could be, yeah. Well, because the way the way I see it, if Panquake takes out all three stocks, he's left with one. You have four stocks Maybe. against Dream. Yeah. And that puts you in a good position. Well, that's definitely that, that's the best position we'd probably be in. Especially when Kamikaze can kill too. Oh, he better yeah. go for Kamikaze. I, it's a crew battle, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just keep top decking stuff. Yeah. Oh, Inkling. Okay. Okay. I like the shirt this, though. This He's got all Nintendo 64, yeah, one of the 64, best consoles got, in my mind. Uh, Pokemon bucket hat. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't. You know, I know Panquake. Not super familiar with the Inkling matchup, but uh, last Friday we went to a local. He he seemed like he did pretty well against their Inkling. So. Yeah, it's gonna be harder because Inkling's just a small hitbox. Well, especially with that dash. Just like, where is he? He gets 0.5 percent. This is a lot slower of a matchup. <laughs> You gotta respect Inkling though. Oh yeah, Inkling, especially with the especially with the damage multiplier with Ink, it's oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Well, because even if they just they just get the jab off, maybe that doesn't do that much. But then any other hit just does so much more. Yeah, gets him with the dash attack. He is getting his uh he is getting his damage nice and easy. Yeah, but this. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, gets the ground. That's free damage. Oh, I thought he's gonna Not go for much. the extra roller after that. He which times out of the second hit of the down tilt. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he just got like two, one, nine, Oh, not gonna get the down there, or down smash. This is dead even. He gets the oh, ground no. like that? Oh no. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, it's gonna be tough sealing out the stocks too. Especially without that, rage. Yeah, this. I guess this matchup would be pretty even, except that Bayonetta has a hard time sealing stocks. I, I, because both I, players can, or both characters can rack up damage. Yeah, it's I, just, I personally think Inkling just wants this pretty easily, yeah. <laughs> but I think Inkling wins a lot of matchups. He's going for a lot of these down smashes on ledge, trying to catch, trying to catch. Maybe Inkling might have a bigger hitbox trying to grab ledge. If not, maybe just go for the backyard high percent. I think he got him before the ground hitbox. He did, yeah. All right, he's at 164. The problem with Bayonetta here is that you, you basically only have like forward throw and back air. It's like that's like basically it. Or a witch time read or something. Oh yeah, right. But and Inkling is so small he can like just crouch underneath the Ridley. Mm -hmm. I, I, maybe you can, you might be able to witch time roller, but yeah, but that is like such an active hitbox too. It might not work out in Bayonetta's favor. Exactly, yeah, because then afterwards you just get hit by it anyway. Oh, he does get the witch time. Oh, he got skid in the witch jab. Okay. All right. Again, Ooh, stocks nice are all carry. even. Just a down tilt to fair. Score throw. Get stage control, yeah. At some nice. point, especially at high percent, I just want to see Panquake run off the back air. Check check his second ability, honestly. Especially at high percent too. Like at that percent, and you got Inkling off stage. Like he's gonna. Okay, never mind. He's just getting the damage on stage. <gasps> he that was he got the air dodge too. He went up smash. That might actually. Yeah. One thing Bayo smash attacks oh. do have is a lot of range. Oh yeah, it's... it's oh, that was really... I'm surprised Inkling was able to get out of that a, a witch twist. Yeah. Oh, oh yep, yeah, just point blank gas smash. Alright, Panquake is actually taking this back and actually has the stock lead back in MSOE. Oh, we're definitely going to see him start playing super patient. You know, at least, hopefully. Yep. Alright, okay, retreat to ledge. Not, not a bad option. Oh, oh yeah, and just down smashes him. Dead even. Four stocks to four. Yep, near back air. Oh, and gets oh, no. and gets this um, splat bomb. Up throw, up air. Yep, that's true to around like 100%, 120. 
still getting decent good amount of damage off the witch toys. Uh oh! <gasps> oh, you saw that the roller was, come out too. He got really just above it. Good timing, but I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think his. Uh, I don't think Inkling's up is vulnerable to that. Yeah, Ridley's was able to do it because he has a lot bigger of a hitbox. Not dead yet. Oh my gosh! Oh, you just saw the roller too. Oh. He's getting antsy. Yeah, don't go, don't go high. This is where your yeah, nerves run extremely oh. high. Yeah, he expected Nin to come in with just some kind of dash option. Oh, and no! he spot dodges oh. a forward smash into an up smash. Jeez. Very close. Alright. Yeah, Panquake definitely brought it back even to where they can seal this out. Mm -hmm. Alright, send in DJ. Uh, I mean, um, against Inkling, I just don't like small characters. I just yeah. don't like fight, fighting small characters. That's just yeah, it. It's not fun. Dude, Panquick, you brought that back even. You're yeah. good. <laughs> You're good, man. You did your job. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you probably want to die to the up smash then. Right. You would have crossed him up, and then the up smash wouldn't have hit. I think he spot dodged himself. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, and going to Kalos. I think this is one of Pikachu's best stages. As so. long as DJ can. Why do Why do people forget this? They just want to body. They just want to go in and fight. That's all it is. Which you know you're in the crew battle. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Saying off for DJ versus uh. That was too many SDs. <laughs> okay, yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> wasn't counting the stocks. <laughs> yeah. Yep. What stock lead? <laughs> Honestly, there's certain times when like you go to tournaments or whatnot when it was like Smash Four, and you saw that one person who's actually with the 3DS controller, like, all right, this guy's either really good or really bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I, dude. As soon as I when I met DJ, I was like, oh, this kid's he's playing a three. A, it's into a joy guys like, alright, this dude's either legit or not. <laughs> right, exactly. There's, there's no in-between. Yeah. Alright, this time we're going to do it for real. Right, only SD twice. And now we'll get the chant. Alright, countdown. Three, two, one. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, just literally Thunder Jolt camp. Against a small hitbox like Inkling. Yeah. Ooh, didn't get any follow-up off of the down throw. Uh-oh. Alright, lightning nice. loops, here we go. Um, oh, I didn't get... Maybe that was going to be an up tilt? Yeah. Might have been the missed input. Yeah, DJ doesn't use tilt stick, so... He literally just charged the F smash, the, too! The spot the, or, the, sorry, the short hop. Dang. <laughs> yeah, just sharking my back. Just, yeah, just sharking back. I mean, that is the character's neutral, so... That, oh, oh my no. god. That honestly is the DJ special. He'll let you just do all oh, these random well, things. He'll just stand still. He doesn't have to commit to anything. Well, it, yeah, that, that, I would definitely agree with that. And look at him! He oh, just charges an S smash! Alright, wow. That honestly is signature DJ playstyle, though. <laughs> I'm with y'all there. Yeah. Wow, so it's gonna come down to a three stock game between Dream and DJ. Alright. With Dream being And hero. Dream going hero. So, DJ has a chance. <laughs> yeah? Even, actually, even if he was Kirby, he would still have a chance. I know last time DJ got blown up, but I. He's definitely better than he was. Dreams Kirby is yes, pretty terrifying. You see that? You see that face? It's the face of a That's killer. Dude, that, exactly. I mean, he's cold blooded. Doesn't Dream, you need your Kirby over there for good luck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Keep us company. I like it. All the Marquette players are huddled around like one setup over there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. Yeah, you see this? Everybody's just on one setup. All right. Yeah. At least they're all like watching. But yeah. Five. Oh no! I find it really funny. They call the uh, or, I don't know. I think I think in Indiana somebody was telling me that they call the they call the snake or who when he ready C4 somebody the back throw into the uh, C4 detonation when it's already stuck on them the vibe check and I'm like <laughs> it's not gonna make me like watching snake but I mean like it's, it's something. Yeah, it's still right. This is something now. 
Yoshi's? Okay. It's a small stage, but Let's I mean, it's here. Early stocks. I don't know how I feel about that. Dude, he wants Magic Burst to cover the whole stage. That's why he chose it. That's why he chose it. And Pikachu, Pikachu just run off stage. Yeah. Side B, a bunch into the stage, and then uh, yeah. quick attack back. All right. Well, we're going to be seeing Kareem's hero versus DJ Spika. This will be interesting. He starts off with bounce, yep. Yeah, that's definitely good. Especially against Thunder Jolt. It's insane. All right. Goes for the Kaboom, he's gonna hit it. Oh no. Oh, you saw the Thwack. Yes, Noose is a little bit okay, safer. Noose is definitely a little safer in that situation. Yep, DJ just gonna nickel and diamond with some. Oh, oh he's shield is low! Uh oh. That yeah, is accelerate. It gives you a ton of horizontal momentum. Insane. Yeah, that's gonna be really hard to just chase him down. Now. Yeah, he's gotta wait for accelerate to run out, possibly. Yeah, the bounce. The bounce would be huge. Gets him with the forward tilt, too. Dream's playing this pretty smartly, and he gets the crit! This is why Hero is dumb! Uh, uh, uh. Alright, well, you know, DJ's... He died at, like, 20! Oh, okay, I thought he got snoozed. Oh, uh, Black, yeah. Why? Yeah, here comes the lightning loops. Oh, he's a little late on that uh, neutral air. Uh-oh. Doesn't get the forward air. Just gonna zoom to safety? He goes straight right away. He was at the beginning. Was. You just wasted your MP for nothing. Uh oh. Yeah, forward tilt. Oh, he gets psych up. This is dangerous. This is. Okay. Oh no, he already wasted it. Well, it wasn't a waste. He, he got, got Pikachu crit. to high percent. He got a crit with it though. Every smash deck can crit, right? Oh yeah, every smash deck can crit. Uh oh. Oh, he doesn't have the MP! He, he ends it with Kamikaze?! Wait, oh no! <laughs> well, hey, that was not a 3 stock because of Kamikaze! Exactly. It was not a 3 stock because of Kamikaze, okay? So there you go, Dream seals it out! For uh, <laughs> This man had, This man got the best command selection I've seen in I don't know how long. Yeah, that was insane.